Hello everyone, I'm Chinese Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Kaiserreich as we are playing the Qing Chinese Nation. So last time, Feng Qin declared war on us. Feng Qian, Feng Qin government, whatever. The Chinese people to the north, they said, you know what? We don't like those Qing people. We're going to go to war with them. And we said, bring it on under Pu Yi. And uh, yeah, we're doing all right. Um, right now, our divisions don't look super strong. That's just because, at the end of the last episode, I decided to say, you know what? We could use more artillery in every single infantry division that we want to keep, which helped reduce the number of guns that we needed, but obviously created a huge deficit of artillery for us. Uh, obviously, their divisions aren't super strong. I mean, they quite literally killed off three-quarters of a million manpower from their manpower pool, while we've only lost 100,000 ourselves. And something tells me, before the end of the episode, they're probably going to attack us at least one more time. But in the meantime, we're going to continue to get more artillery, get more guns. We are currently building up, what, at least one more civilian factory so we can start making more military factories. Because I have to think long term. When we are done with the Feng Qin government, we must unite all of China. And we need to do that, and we must build up an air force so that we can invade Japan if needed. Which... The end goal of this campaign, honestly, is taking out Japan, so we need to do that. Um, but yeah, after the Feng Qin government, take out all of China. Unite all of China. Integrate China into China. And of course, get more planes. And focus a little bit on the Navy. We don't have that much of a focus, I and mean, we only have a single dockyard. Oh, I didn't even know Australasia was at war with Japan. Okay. Oh, that's kind of a nice flag from the uh, West Indies Union. Ha, look at that. He's a very happy guy. Tubal Uriah Butler. Very cool. Uh, the world's on fire a little bit. Austria is at war with the Belgrad Pact, of course. The American Union state isn't doing well, but they're doing... It seems like they're doing maybe slightly better than when we saw them last. They made the deal with the devil with the Pacific states. Whatever. And let's let time go on a little bit. Build ourselves up a little bit more. What resources do we currently need? We are close to running out of the needed amount of steel for our industry. We need a tiny bit more tungsten to make more artillery, of course. And we need one thing of aluminum. That's going to be important. Um, come on, guys. Please attack me. I don't want to attack into your lines because that would be a little bit more suicidal. That wouldn't be very good. They're out of manpower. They're mobilizing, though. They are mobilizing more men. If I attack, that wouldn't be smart. So... Really, we'll just wait for our deficit to go down a little bit more. Could I bait the enemy into attacking me if I pulled my divisions further south? Ooh, Wang is pretty good general. Let's see what happens. And just go to Beijing, see what happens, and... Will we get attacked immediately? No. We're not concerned with that. We do have no deficits or debuff of infantry divisions, so that's good. Um, I really don't care. Move wherever we need to go. If I were to attack, it might be here. Oh, there we go. Now they have done the dirtiness again. Okay, they have decided to attack us. Also, we should we still need to prioritize making sure that we have a good army along all of our fronts, just in case. Which will be very, very good. Now, obviously, this center position is weak as part of our line, but uh, we're doing okay. But now we can acquire foreign airplane designs because we want to get to Peking University. Let's see, create a Zeely Naval Academy or Expat Air Training Scheme. While a fledgling domestic air training industry exists, it may be more prudent to hire various exiles and exp expatiates, I can't say that word, that wash up in the legations to train our pilots. They may need to sober up before teaching any of our cadets to fly, but crashing is part of the training process, right? Absolutely. What is a few d dead Chinese pilots to Qing China? Or the Feng Qing government? Or any China, really? Really? Any China? Alright, well, and then we have a coup guard, and Australasia has just joined the Entente. Um, not bad, not bad. Alright, not bad. I'm joined here with my cat, my Chinese cat, Binky, who demanded that he come into the room. Great, thanks a lot, Bink. 
Yeah, you okay? Cool. Uh, but yeah, these guys, AI, well, it's a Hoi 4 AI, what do you expect? Come on, sit down, Bink, sit down and go to sleep. Cool. Uh, I love army XP and draining the enemy of their resources. But anyways, we're doing better on our deficits. We only make 9 guns a day, which isn't ideal. We make 1.7 pieces of artillery every day. Come on, Bink, sit down. Sit. Good. Uh, we have a deficit of about 800 pieces, which isn't great, but whatever. You know, you'll take what you can get. If I do an attack, I'd probably attack right here. Uh, how many men did they lose? They just lost, like, 80,000 guys from that last attack. It's a little bit insane, not gonna lie. If I were to attack, could I be successful? That's a very good question. Let's at least try it. The fall of... Shanghai. Japanese troops seized Shanghai today, rapidly overwhelming the local police and garrison forces and raising their banners across the boon. Only a few years ago, such an action would almost certainly have been met by international outrage, but the conflict elsewhere has left few able to offer meaningful protection to the m municipal people. Japanese soldiers have already begun the process of looting the areas outside the old international settlement, while most foreigners are thus far left unscathed, with, but without worry, though. Not without worry. I didn't realize that Japan went to war with the legation cities. Oh, they're at war... Oh, they're at war with the, the entire Entente, then. Oh, but... Hmm. Okay, well, whatever. Good, Japan, good. I'm, I like what you're doing. I really, really like what you're doing here. That's a good look on you. Now, we did get a little boost up in numbers here, which I like. We are, like, barely winning. We're winning so slowly that we started losing. So we can't exactly strike into enemy territory yet, and that's okay. My goal isn't to attack into them and just kill our own line off because, well, that's what the AI is supposed to do to us, so. <sighs> oh, the number isn't going up for us. Are they attacking with, how many divisions are they attacking with? 26. That's a lot of divisions. 26 attacking four, and they have to go across a river into hills. That is one of the worst positions that you could put yourself in. Attacking an enemy across a river, trying to go up hills. Obviously, these guys have never studied any sort of warfare. You don't attack like that. Oh my goodness. I'd rather go around. I mean, sure. There's a forest here. Not a great place to attack, but it's better than rivers and hills. Down here is plains. That's a smart idea to do. Here, mount mountains. You don't want to attack into mountains if you can. That'd be no bueno. Uh, really, I have not too much of a use for political power. I mean, I could lower our extraction so we could get more resources for ourselves, but at the current moment, that really does nothing like I've said in the past couple videos. Next up, daily army XP gain. I really don't need this as much. Planning speed is nice. Uh, Bharatiya Kami declared war on the Indian Empire. I'll probably wait, and I might just go back to Wu Pai Fu, just because even though we take in more supply, we get more attack and daily political power gain. I like the attack. I really, really like the attack. Oh, but he has attack 10%. But more supply. I might just do division organization and supply consumption. I love it when my divisions use less supply. Follow Petrograd. Very nice. Oh, Commonwealth is stuck there. Huh, okay. And how many men have they lost? They lost probably about at least another 80,000 men. Good. The Soviet Union, or the Soviet Russians, were annexed. Good. And Austria is still struggling down here and slowly but surely killing off Serbia. They have a little bit of manpower left on scraping the barrel while Austria is on all adult serve. No, service by requirement with a good amount of manpower left. Holy cow. I mean, oh, you've gotten attacked so much. You've got so much XP that you can now have 30 infantry divisions under you. You're level 6. Jung Bai Li, how, what are you doing? Advanced machine tools. Nice. Ah, the Kumul Khan was eventually annexed. That little tile over there. Now just East Turkestan versus these guys. Good. Ah, Mountaineer Division. You know what? Mm, how mountainous is this area? There's quite a few hills around here. Um, I really don't want to send Mountaineers to help defend a border that no one's attacking us in. But I'm going to do this just in case anyways. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, it's 1939. It's only 1939, which is good. What do we want? 
We already did artillery. We already did better guns. It's only September 9th. We already have better engineers. We could get recon. We could get field hospitals. Not super necessary, though. Tanks would be nice. But then again, a lot of things would be nice. Light ships. Cruisers. Next year, we'll start doing some more advanced heavy cruisers. That'd be good. Fighters. We'll do fighters. We can start focusing a little bit, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on our Air Force. Just a tiny bit. Just a wee bit. We're doing better. Doing all right. Somalia was annexed. No one cares. Good. Come on. And how many men have you lost so far? Another 50,000. Good. I'm glad Japan is busy with other people. Wow, they actually have some manpower. Okay. Good. Just throw, the, th throw those guys at me. Come on. Ooh, do you have an upgrade? No, but you're an organizer, which I really like. No one else has upgrades except for Wang. And that's not really important either. He's level 4. Very good. Expat Air Training Scheme. Next up, we'll do Create Azili Naval Academy. Many of our junior naval staff receive training from the German Naval Academy, and their loyalty to our clique remains unclear at best. We need to divert funds to create our own naval academy where promising cadets can be trained to both be skilled tacticians and loyal to our, of course, government. Good, good, good. How is this going along? Oh, we're actually, I forgot about this so much that we actually have three civilian factories. That's good. I'm going to keep it like this. Because once we're done with that civilian factory, I'll say it's ultimatum. Uh oh. We're just going to keep building on more military factories, because I need more military factories. Communist France declared war on the German Empire. Whatever. That's fine with me. Followed up with that, all we could have is resources. War as hell. Is steel. That's literally all we have. That's not ideal. Uh, Austria. Oh, Austria immediately intervenes in the Second Belt Krieg. Um, a total of 11 slots. Bolivia declared war on Paraguay. Chile. Chile. Six. Six. 10. Ooh, building down here would be a good idea for infrastructure. Oh, they're almost 9 out of 10 already. Nice. That's actually really good. Uh, war propaganda against Commune of France. Uh, you know, I'm going to save my political power for the most part. We're on limited conscription. I'm not going to go to extensive conscription because that could hurt our training time. Really, training time isn't the issue. It's just having equipment. And they're still attacking us. They, they are definitely out of equipment. Because they have enough manpower to fill the reserves, but they can't really do very much about that, which is nice. Alright, Austria, you are already fighting the Third International. It looks like the Third International probably won't be doing too well in this campaign. Oh, they'll be at war with Bulgaria. Don't know, Adria Boon will be at least. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, even though the SRI actually united most of Italy. That's pretty good. Entente's looking pretty nice and strong. How's the Second American Civil War going? Well, hasn't moved very much. CSA is very strong. Very, very strong. Oh, but they're out of manpower. Huey Long still has a little bit. Pacific States has still a little bit. Ooh. Service by requirement. Service by requirement. The feds are dead. New England is just kind of hanging out. All right. You know, whatever. Oh. And once again, in no real surprise, they're attacking my line again. Come on, guys. Keep killing me. I just need to make more artillery and infantry equipment. That's pretty much it. Uh, support equipment's looking nice. Very good. Good. Keep making military factories. That's very good. Very good. Let's just let time go on for now as we watch and observe. Currently, we get 1.1 1. 1 daily army XP, but our current experience is going up by quite a bit because, well, the AI is the AI. Level 6, level 4. Anqing cooperation has been removed. No! Oh, no. The Anqing was annexed. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 that is probably not good. They really don't like us. And they're kind of... They're guaranteeing the independence of Feng Shen. Um, this is a potential enemy to our east. I don't like this. I really don't like this. So, you... Um... You like drugs, but you're politically connected. And you... Are politically connected, but you're a forester and mountaineer. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull both of you off of here. 
probably have some other general. Oh, I'm not even using Wu Paifu. Ooh, this guy looks pretty darn awesome. Yeah, Guo Zhijiao. Yeah, heck yeah, get that guy. Defend the line here. That's going to be important. I don't trust Sichuan. I don't trust Hunan. I don't trust a lot of people, to be honest with you. Uh, extraction would be okay. F fuel silos are okay as well. This isn't road to 56, so I can't build steel mills. Hmm. It's almost 1940. 194 days. That's a wee bit too much for me. Synthetic refineries, refineries. Don't really need oil right now too much. Extraction could be okay in the long term, though. I want to keep that in mind. Ah, I guess do a recon. What, what do I have in my infantry divisions at the moment? My regular good infantry. National infantry divisions have recon. So actually, that's not too bad to do for now. Good. Our stockpile is going up. Or our deficit's going down. Really. That's good. Keep building. Keep building. Uh, do we have enough divisions to at least put one division per tile? That's going to be important. Because if we do not, we have 17 divisions in total. We actually might have enough. And I will move soldiers around if needed. Hmm. If I do that, that might help divert some equipment to where it really needs to be. War propaganda. Don't need it. I just don't need it. I wish I had something else to do with my political power, though. I really wish I had something else to do with it. How much manpower do you guys have now? A little bit more than last time. They, you suffered over a million casualties, which is nice. They're probably going to attack us very soon, which is good. Shanghai has fallen, of course. Um, is there a reason why you aren't defending this tile? Yes. The tanks, the one tank division we have, is moving down there, so that's... That's kind of okay with me. Whoa. Using Zhang Bai Li actually gives us more entrenchment, which is nice. Alright, guys. Please attack. Oh, there you go. I, I ask, and they attack. Good. Good, 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 good. Guns are doing really well. Artillery, not doing too bad either. Support equipment, not bad. With these guys, I don't mind some putting on some recon companies on those bad boys, but what if I put on, instead... These guys will get some engineering stuff. They get. I need more infantry equipment to do this, as well as support equipment. Honestly, this will help our defense quite a bit more. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, it hurts our infantry equipment a just a little bit, not too much. And does hurt our support equipment, so which isn't good, but whatever. This makes the divisions in the field even better for now. So they get way more entrenchment. Way more. Even though we didn't really need it too much. But it will help inflict more casualties on the enemy. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Venezuela. That's a really bright green. Uh, how's the line looking? A lot of death, a lot of death. Alright, so be it. You guys are still killing each other. Look, you know, people complain that I sent divisions to Mongolia to help take out Maklik. Maklik, even when I send divisions to Mongolia, they don't need my help. They're really good, you know? China, China United, China strong. China's strong even without the Qing Empire, but with the Qing Empire, it'll be even stronger. No worries. No worries whatsoever. Now I need some more support equipment. Ah, create a Zili Naval Academy. Finally, we can get down to expand the Peking University. Peking Beijing University has a large focus on literature, art, and culture. While important, these things do not win wars. We can divert funding to Peking University with the purpose of building new research and development labs for computer, radio, and chemical advancement, all of which, of course, will help our military. How many divisions do these guys have? Because I will have to develop or send more divisions this way. Up to 73. Yeah, seven, my 17 divisions probably won't be able to hold on against these guys. Especially if the KMT left, left KMT attacks us. Hmm, fighter ones, fighter ones, fighter ones. Good, good, good. Let's get some tactical bombers next. 79 days, whatever, do that. I'm not even making these guys, so do that. Good. Artillery's doing, looking nice. Guns are looking nice. That's looking nice. They're attacking me again. Level 6. How much experience do you have? Oh, you actually... You're almost level 7. Oh, you're... Oh, yeah. Become adaptable. That... That's just a cherry on top. You can take drugs, but you're a great general. Terrain penalty reduced. Acclimatization factor. Bolivia... Was annexed by France. I didn't know you had that type of uh, time to get over there, guys. Um... 
Federated Syndicates of Bolivia. Univers universitari funding. Huh. What's a universitari? Hmm. And there goes the Entente going to war with the Third International as well. Always a fun time. Always a fun time. Uh, are you guys veterans yet? You're not. Oh, and you must have just become level 7. Glorious, glorious, glorious. They're injured. Now, I'm going to feel kind of probably good about myself and just go ahead and div deliver them death from themselves. We want our tiles back. We must have it. And we're actually winning. They have 13 divisions against our 8, and I think we'll do okay. I would love to have the ability... Okay, library, that's weird. To use my political power to further develop my nation somehow, some way. Like, I know we can establish administration and reintegrate concessions, but give me something I can do with political power once we're done. At least, you know, Old World Blues, you can core territory that you take over using political power. Now, that costs a lot of political power, but at least it's something you can do with political power. I'd like to see something else, you know, something more. Good. Good, good, good. We actually took a tile. Very nice. Casualties, very nice. Then again, casualties don't really mean anything when you're playing or fighting against China. <sighs> but they're almost out of manpower again, which is good. Took one of our tiles back. You guys are doing great. How is this coming along? How much more support equipment do we need? A lot more. Holy goodness. Put you up to there. And we're only making this for now, which is good. Actually, we have one. I'm gonna. Uh, it's not really worth trading away stuff. Trading away for, like, one piece of tungsten, or really eight pieces of tungsten for that. Right there. Could we win? It's a level one fort. Is it possible for us to win right here? Yes, it is. Give them a little bit more force attack, perhaps? No, I think that they've got it without us. That would be very good if we could take that. We're finally on the offensive, guys. Mongo Good job, Mukleek. I had every single faith, piece of faith I have in you. Oh, you really don't like us? Uh, it's only because we claim their territory. Oh, no. Rebirth. Something tells me with everyone, like, surrounding me, it feels like, it feels like, they might want to all kill me off. <laughs> Eliminating socialists. Russia announces her ambitions. Dual provincial rule. No more threats. Earning their respect. An alliance of warlords. Huh. Making new friends. Dealing with old enemies. Well then. Good. We took that tile. We took back the tiles that they took from us. Awesome. Now let's just stretch out my line just a wee bit. And that's okay. Let our guys get organized. Let them get some planning. Let them feel good about themselves. Let us get out of this deficit of stuff that we have currently. And then we shall continue to attack. And they're out of manpower. Glorious. How much have I lost? 129,000 versus 1.38 thousand. Come on, hurry up. Get to where you need to be. You guys might be able to attack there. They're not super strong. We're not super strong either, but... It could be possible for us to win here. Maybe. Potentially. We did take this piece of land earlier in the campaign. We did lose it because they just attacked with overwhelming firepower, but now, could we take it? That is a real possibility. Now, the battle will be slow. We might not win, and if they're going to attack us, I want to make sure that we do not attack. Go ahead and hold for now. Go ahead and hold. Uh oh that's not looking good. We only have three divisions here. This is our core territory, and we do get a bonus to our own core territory, so that's kind of nice. Guns are okay. Artillery's okay. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. My current conscription... I could go down to total mobilization. I do hurt my population. But I can build military factories so much faster, and I get more consumer goods. Right now, we're on 2.5. If I go... What do I have currently? We have 
for early 2.5 from um, limited conscription, I could do this. I can raise my conscription level to go to extensive conscription and then do war economy or total mobilization, actually. Um, we do lose a little bit more manpower. But let's do it anyways. Who cares? I need the consumer goods. Nice. Keep building those military factories. We need them. Now, we probably lose a little bit of manpower. That's okay. That's kind of my plan. We already have quite a bit. Oh, good. They're attacking us here. Four divisions are defending against ten. Not bad. Ah, oh, we have another research slot. Thank God for science. Um, hired foreign advisors. From where? Not sure where. Foreign arms? Box Rebellion. Well, how about this? Integration by force. Destroy isolated warlords. Fallout of the Northwest conflict. This sounds like we will end up in a war if we try to do stuff here, and I don't want to do that. I don't know if that will be true or not, but I don't want to do that just yet. If that's the case, benevolent integration. Integration by force. I kind of like this. Hmm. If I go this way, do I get a war goal against other allies or people who reject my integration? As Decisions to integrate Chinese provinces as core states of the Qing Empire. While the rebels' rulers who seize power over much of China must be punished to the peasantry, the oppressed should not face the same fate. Instead, we should peaceably integrate former rebel lands into our government so that all in China may live under our benevolent rule. That sounds kind of good. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. We'll see what happens. And this does give me an option to use my political power if I want to. And before I forget, we do have, finally, a fourth research slot. That's so good. Go ahead and get some more research speed for that research slot. And we have more consumer goods. We're getting out of our deficit of artillery. We are looking to maybe attack into the enemy's lands a little bit more. We are on a very good track to be very, very successful. Which I am enjoying quite a bit. Good. Now can we do this attack once again? With maybe a little bit more success because the enemy is, has less organization and less strength overall. Will we hold out? Will we be able to take this tile? It seems like we should be able to, but you know what? You never know what might happen. I need more support equipment because I put, of course, engineers on my divisions, which is fine. They stopped attacking me over here, which is good. Um, actually, you could probably attack too. Go ahead and help attack as well. But I do want more divisions just because I don't trust anyone around me. I straight up do not trust anyone. Uh, how's this going, though? Okay, Russian Empire declared war on... That's a thick Alash Orda. That's big. You guys are still killing each other. Oh, wait, Makhlik, you liberated Mongolia. Oh, look at that. He's kind of he's kind of happy. Jod Bajab. Purge the resistance. Oh, your, your, your focus tree changed. Nice. Mongolian KMT. Purge for resistance, National Unity Front, Chinese immigration, loyal to China. Ooh. That's nice. That's actually really cool. Come on, you guys got this. You guys got this. Qing China is best China. Panama is capitulated. We got recon twos. Let's go grab some improved infantry equipment. Dose. Speed up time. Keep making military factories. We're doing great, great, great. In time, we will have that. Keep an eye, though, on what our enemies are doing. Shandong is a model province. Restore the academy. Oh, they sent volunteers to Jingjiang. Fighter 2s. Let's go and grab this. Uh, more guns. Guangtong Type 27, a heavy machine gun, and Jingling Zhuangtong Type 34, 60mm mortars. Well, at least they're very descriptive. Very descriptive of what we're producing. Good. Good. Losses, one and a half million, nice, very nice. These are baby numbers as compared to what the future wars will hold. Good, another division. Actually, I'm gonna throw you on the front line just because you never know what we might need on the front line. But the rest of the divisions will be thrown all across, oh God, I don't know where. Shanzi, what are you doing? You've been undoubtedly quiet, self-reflection. Oh, move with the times, this does not look good. Top bottom, fluid like water. Guard against Hunan. Oh, that's Mountaineer Division. Good. Oh my goodness. Keep throwing more divisions on here. That's getting annoying. 
Come on, keep crushing them. Keep crushing them. Another division. Go, on to, go down to Hunan. Now this one tile per division. Another division. Good. I'm going to throw you right here. So you can start defending against the left KM2 just in case. Next up, we will put you under Lu Xiangting. Put you kind of in the middle for now. And Hai Bi, Hai Bei. Oh my goodness, they really don't want me to take this tile. Is there anywhere else I can attack, perhaps? Or I can do this. Take you to go attack. One of you guys, you're, you're really weak. Go ahead and hold. Put in some fresh division. Oh, that is not good. Then again, we just deployed some more soldiers, so... That actually makes kind of a lot of sense. Alright. Alright. Yeah, you have more... You probably have double my number of factories, and you're still not winning. Come on, Fangshin government. Come on, man. Come on, do something. Benevolent integration. What what area do we hold that we currently do not have non-core population? Wuhan is ours. Is this area up here? Nice, I think we took it. I think we actually took it. No, this area is ours. That's ours as well. Down here? Well, what's the exact number? It's 5.83, so 5.83, 5.83. .83. Oh, it is Eastern Shangzi. I can core it later on, though, which is nice. Go ahead and keep defending against those guys in the south. Nice. Another division. Good. And let you guys separate. This is this tile is really ripe for attacks. Because you're, they, they could get attacked by four different tiles, which is okay and good for us. We want to bait them into attacking us. Come on, attack me more, 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 more. Let's get our guys to get where they need to be. Let them get some planning. Let them get some entrenchment if we need it. And then we will continue with another attack. I try to play as carefully as possible. Well, that's a lie. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Alright, after these are all done and settled with... We're not losing stuff every single day. We just need more divisions. Um, not bad, not bad so far. Where are you guys going? How's the world looking? Austria's still struggling. The game is lagging very hard. Belgium, uh, you've expanded into Calais. Second American Civil War. Well, honestly, it hasn't changed that much. Oh, Chicago is close to falling, though. Holy cow, they're literally one tile away. They got some more manpower, of course. Uh, you have enough manpower. The Pacific States is on... Scraping the barrel. That's a little unsettling. What the heck is going on in Scotland? Oh, Canada. Oh, good, yeah. Left Kuang Tang versus Shandong. Kill each other. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job. All right. They've had enough time to talk and act and stuff like that. Where do I want to attack next? Honestly, this tile looks really ripe for taking. But it's probably not going to be easily killed off. So we're going to attack from four different tiles from our side as well. Led by these six divisions. Now, can we win? I don't know. We got Benevolent Integration, however. Followed up with... Higher Foreign Advisors. Our anti-concession stance keeps us from taking military aid from European governments, but individual, independent advisors are fair game. The turmoil and conflict of the last 20 years has generated no shortage of men willing to sell their talent and advice to, of course, the highest bidder. Current motion will be voted on. Voting rights on the Legation Council, German Empire, Japan, Austria, Belgium, Australasian Confederation, creation of a Legation Navy. <laughs> no votes for ab absten abstentions. Um, I, I really don't care. I'll be honest, I really don't care. Have a Navy if you want. No one cares. Oh, we might win. You know what? Do a force attack. This is going to be actually probably devastating to my army. But if we can actually get these guys out of here as fast as possible and hold that territory, it will be worth it. Despite the losses that we will incur. Good. Keep building up military factories. Obviously, we've been building up quite a few more, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Fighter 1s become Fighter 2s. Yes, do that. There we go. I'm going to actually get one more thing of this. We'll get it from Austria. Because Austria isn't evil right now. Increase this. Our finest hour. What a childish fantasy. This happens in every single game, so I'm not really going to read it. I'm sure I'll play that mod soon enough. Where it goes to. Good, good, good. 
Nice, nice, not bad, not bad. Banking government is not feeling well. Banking society for light metals, they're out of manpower still. Awesome. Crush them, crush them, crush them. Hope he becomes a mountaineer and a commando. That would be great if he could. Yeah, they're fighting to the death. Which is great! Keep fighting to the death, guys. Keep fighting, fighting, fighting. This is why I use engineers, because they get a little bit of a bonus over attacking rivers. Yay! Or, I guess, defense and movement. So that's okay. Good job, guys. Great job. That's a pat on the back if I ever did see one. We're still out of fuel, but whatever. Left Kumontang. Wait, are you fighting two people? Wait, you're fighting... You're fighting the Fangjin government as well. What the heck? Yeah, I don't... What the... Huh. Now, it says if we attack, we will be fairly successful. I don't believe you. I really don't believe you. So let's let our guys get a little bit more strength first, and then we'll try a general attack, and then we'll end the episode once that happens. But apparently they're attacking us like crazy. Yeah. Um... Guys, you tried this before. You're attacking with overwhelming division numbers. Well, not really overwhelming that much. But uh, I'm liking what's going on. Yeah, just, just keep doing what you're doing. I'm surprised you... Well, I'm actually not surprised you don't get any more experience because you're politically connected and an old guard, which is garbage, but whatever. You're doing what you're doing. The Fifth Zili Fengxing War. Chinese Civil War. 17,000 versus 1,000. Oh, Shandong. Please keep him at bay for as long as possible. We just got more soft attack and organization. Let's grab some mechanized offensives for really no benefit. I don't use tanks right now. In time, maybe I will. Oh my goodness, they're actually pushing back against Austria. Oh boy. Oh, and they actually have that. They have Venice. That is not good. Oh no, I thought they. I thought with the Donut Adri Bone, with the Reichs Pact, would at least be pretty darn devastating against a third international, but, uh. I guess I was wrong, at least in the current moment. Interesting. Good. Now, can we do a general push? I want these guys to get a little bit more organization first. I'll give them, and I'll do a little bit of force attack. I'll give them about three seconds, and then we will attack. Three, one, two. Numbers are hard. Give them force attack. Go, go, go. They're not winning there immediately. Hmm. All right. Don't be be more balanced then. Can this work? Have the enemies so exhausted themselves that we can do a general push that I can that I will allow my AI to do the attacks. That's a scary thing to do when you let your AI do attacks. We have one in one one area so far. We have potentially one somewhere else, maybe, maybe not. Yes. That's actually scary. I told you to be balanced, not crazy. Oh no, we left this open. Uh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Alright, go ahead and stop the attacks. Be careful. Be balanced. We do not have overwhelming numbers. Do not attack crazily like that. Okay, so you have that taken. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, send half of you guys to attack this way as well. That'll help them out. Uh, if you attack this way, that'll help them out as well. Uh, attacking there is okay for now. Help them out in three seconds. Good. Good. Let's at least finish all our battles and then we'll call it an episode. Good. That's not bad. We start off pretty much where we left off last at the beginning of the episode, kind of. A little better in a position, but whatever. Good. Good. Still trying to win here. If that's the case. Go ahead and help them out. That's okay. Good. They're completely out of manpower. They might have more divisions now. We won here. This tile is giving me a little bit of an issue, which I really don't like. Um, don't even move. Just help them attack and kill them off right here. And when they win... Oh, I'll let you not move as well. Lash Ordos. Annex. Good. Good. We have higher foreign advisors. Let you guys do this. Hold. Let you guys do whatever you need. And now we will do, or be able to, purchase... Oh no, I want local logistics. Less supply consumption is good. Germany had promised to supply us with trucks and other logistical equipment for our future conflict with Japan. With their military missions withdrawal, however, we need to turn to more traditional logistical methods to supply our army. In the end, 
This might be better news for us, as the infrastructure of our country cannot really support large amounts of motorized vehicles anyways. Awesome. Let's see if these guys need to be rearranged still. Probably. Level 9 logistics. Can I use this general in all my videos? I love lust supply consumption so much. So much. Um, oh, yeah. Get some more artillery support. That would be just amazing. Not bad. We're running out of our deficit of artillery. Great. Support equipment is doing better. Infantry equipment is doing better. We're actually producing fighters. That's really, really good. Let's go ahead and stop our planes from doing whatever they're doing. They are located where? Oh, actually, no, you guys are fine. I'm going to move you up here. Oh, you're dead. Awesome. I didn't know I actually had some fighters and planes still doing stuff. But anyways, that is as far as we're going to get in this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We have actually pushed into Fengxin government territory, which is really, truly Qing Chinese territory. Europe's on fire. Chicago just fell. What is going on with this? At, I don't know what's going on anymore. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link uh, in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow as we might just be able to capitulate the Beijing government. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great day.